Greetings once again, sinners, dudes, this then back again with hell of a boss. Lack of boss. Previously, we visited Moxie's childhood home, finding out that he's the son of a mobster, of all things. With Moxie's crime boss dad Crimson essentially trying to marry him off to Moxie and shockingly Millie's ex, Chaswick, believing that Chaswick had come into some money which he lied about. Because he's an idiot. Why would you lie to a crime boss? So Blitzo and Millie were having none of that. Crashed the wedding. Got Moxie the hell up out of there. And also revealed to Crimson that Chaswick had no cash. So yeah, Chaswick's probably dead. But Moxie confronted his demons. And Millie got to learn a little something extra about her, the love of her life. So the question now is, who else's past will come back to haunt them next? Join me as I find out. Won't you? Yes, give me the violence, the language, the sexual theme. Wait, hold up. Richest cup. Where the poor pour for you. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's her. Oh, God. Why is this happening? <laughs> uh oh. Sister. Oh, God. There we go. Uh oh, boy. <laughs> I love that even he understands. It's just like, Stella, stop. Look. This is bullshit. We know it. He knows it. But at least try. Um. Oh! Oh, hey, Striker! Still, uh, out for a little bit of that murder. Whoa, nice! Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, wait, what's going on? What, does, does Luna have to use the bathroom? Wait, he's being kidnapped? I thought, I thought Striker was just out to kill him. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what does he look like? I mean, look, let's all be honest, sexy as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, let's be honest, he's sexy as shit. <laughs> like, th that's the only description you can give. <laughs> Like, weirdly sexy? Like, yep, that's Stryker. Oh, he's using blessed equipment. Okay, Stryker's up to something. He must know that Stolas is literally on the phone right behind him, right? Uh, Stolas, I feel like you're being way too nonchalant about- Oh, she's getting a shot? Oh, S-H-O-T. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh god, he's so hot. God damn! Why did why is this set character so sexy? <sighs> like, look, I am very comfortable with my sexuality, which <laughs> isn't limited to a lot of things. But goddamn, like, god damn! <laughs> am I in danger right now? It's like, bruh, you could have done that. Oh, jeez. Oh, payback. Oh boy. <laughs> I've, it's weird how quiet she's been. Did they just not want to have the voice actress, or uh, <laughs> the B U L L shit? <laughs> I'm sorry. Something about him spelling out one word is just. <laughs> Enunciating the curse, just oh man, <laughs> she can't. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, is he about to call her up? <laughs> oh, it's good to know that even this show has standards about some things. <sighs> this really is hell. <laughs> Ready to murder. Uh, where's Luna? Ah, oh god. Speaking of little pricks, although I doubt it's little when it comes to. Let me stop. <laughs> really, really. Song montage. God damn it. <laughs> oh, flaming ass horse. He freaking has a theme song. Jeez. <laughs> Whoa. God, I love the visuals. God. You know, I've never really thought about wishing I was cool enough to have my own theme song, like literally having people sing my own hype. But man, if damn, I wish people would sing about my hype. Jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna die. <laughs> How does one get their own theme song? Well, it's a fire tone. <laughs> Gotta love that casual racism. Whoa, wait. <laughs> you got a problem with me? See you next Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like that's not how he actually phrased that with the bleep. 
but thank you. <laughs> I love this is why I turned on the subtitles, because the subtitles, <laughs> really good series, make jokes with the subtitles. <laughs> And baby, Raffian, unemployed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oof. God, sometimes I forget that's Richard Horvitz, which is funny because he's essentially just Red Zim. Wait, what? What? Same hat? What about the same hat? What? Really? Oh, <laughs> wait, I didn't realize they were this small. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love Moxie just in the background stabbing a dude in the kidneys. <laughs> Kill him with the gas hose. <laughs> I love how much of a casual badass Moxie is. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, I don't understand the plan here, Striker. Oh. He got money to prolong this. Oh, yeah, you know what? Okay, I can understand that. It, it is hell. And I love that Stryker's not even being subtle about it. It's just like, no, no, your wife hired me to do this. <laughs> of course, train tracks. <laughs> I was just about to say, it's a classic. <laughs> like, man, it don't mean nothing if there ain't train tracks. It, it ain't a Western-themed anything if there ain't train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, Striker? <laughs> Buddy? Like, you're cool as shit, but to hell, what is that statue? <laughs> Thank you, Stolen. Ooh, I feel like Striker has a tragic backstory we don't know about. Oh, ooh, oof. Oh boy. Oh. Man, how many people's fantasy is this scene right here? Not with the stabbing, but, you know. Oof. Huh, wait, is his blood black? Huh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm like, did he just kick him in the- oh, okay. I do love that Stolas is just like, eh, I've had better. <laughs> oh! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, dude, everything you're doing right now is like me and Blitzo on a Saturday night. <sighs> I do have to wonder if it was mostly just to get under Striker's skin or if he was being 100% honest. <sighs> Oh god. He's literally an old goat. Oh! That is, uh... Oh no. Well, on the plus side, he's old, so... He's done with most of his living, right? Huh. Fancy. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. And uh, y'all in the process of a divorce? Why would she receive a penny after that? Yeah. Everything goes to your daughter. <laughs> It's good to know that she's a friggin' idiot, too. <laughs> I love that. It's like, you're lucky you're pretty, because you, you ain't got much of anything else going on here. Right. But the thing is, Via isn't of age, right? Not yet. Yeah. Octavia is only 17 right now, so, I mean, it's, it's not a long time, So, but Stella would still technically have control over, you know, control the financial holdings of her daughter. Although, does Octavia even have custody of her daughter? I'm pretty sure it was Stolas who had custody, but after he dies, technically custody would switch to her, right? I don't know, it's hell. They might have different... <sighs> You're asking Stella to plan ahead. She's a little too up her own ass for that. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, Stolas has been playing on Stryker's need to have the upper hand. Oof. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Oh really? Stryker, dude, after all this? <laughs> Your royal see you next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm only just now realizing it's one of the few words they actually bleep. Uh, that is true. You can still, uh, beat the shit out of him. Uh-oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh! Uh, I hope you have enough money to fix that. <laughs> nice. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Really? Nice. That's kind of badass. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa! Millie brought the broadsword! Yep, oh, samurai sword too. There you go. Ah, oh, dude, 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 so cool. <laughs> really? Oh, she's got the axe. Oh, oh, right, this was happening. <laughs> Lead with the syringe. Lead with the syringe. Ooh, oof. Yeah, nice transition. God, they work so well together. Ooh, whoa. Oh, oh. 
I feel like this is gonna end with Blitzo getting stuck. Ooh. <laughs> Man, this series continues to get so good with its fight choreography and animation. Man, Striker is a legitimate badass. Oh! Whew! <laughs> like, did he mean to do that or no? No, no, he didn't mean to do that. Nice. Ooh! Ooh! Ouch! God, he's so hot. I don't know, it takes a lot to be this much of an asshole, but still be that damn. Sephiroth. There it is. He has Sephiroth energy. Total prick, but he's a very attractive prick. Like Dolfo Mingo from One Piece. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, nice. Oh no. Oof. Oh boy. No. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All a bunch of freaks. He's <laughs> like joking. He's just like harder. She's like, yeah, that, <laughs> that would throw anyone off. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, it's just like, if I ever find myself being choked out, it's just like, just gotta say, harder daddy, and I'll just, that would stop anyone in their tracks. Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, crushed by his own statue, really? Oh, the hubris. Of course he escaped. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh. You, did you not really understand that Stolas was in actual trouble? Come on, Blitzo. Oh. He... Okay, he really did not take that seriously, huh? Huh. And I wonder how Stolas is gonna feel about the fact that Blitzo wasn't the one who actually went to help him. I mean... I mean... Let, let's be honest, he still sent Millie and Moxie, but Blitzo wasn't the one who came to his rescue. So, huh. Aww. Yeah. Let's see, I'm sorry, never mind, it's not a big deal, I was just worried about you. You seem very upset, you took off so fast, and you read too much into the but, uh... Oh wait, that was no one from Stola. Get, be get Bever soon. <laughs> God. You gotta love how Stolas will write full sentences and all that when Blitzo will give him short talk. I feel like that's the longest message Blitzo has actually given Stolas. Aw, thank you Blitz, that means a lot. I might be here for a while if you ever want to visit. Maybe. <sighs> Blitzo, any response, man? Any response, Blitzo? <sighs> Damn it, Blitzo. <sighs> Let's so you really should have at least said something after that. <sighs> but I know it's not easy for someone like him. <laughs> Starring the voices of Erica Lindbeck as Luna. What did she say? <laughs> did she actually say anything in this? I mostly heard scared dog noises and growls. <sighs> Regardless, still a good time. God, a fight against Stryker, so good. Man, but it takes a lot to take that bastard down, and he always just narrowly manages to escape. I wonder if he's gonna be in trouble, though. Because he didn't bring Stolas to Stella and her brother. <sighs> it's hard to say. And technically, he kind of failed the job by not keeping control of Stolas, but he should at least get some kind of compensation. Ah, there's something more going on with Stryker, though. I, I mean, I know imps don't have the best reputation, which we really did see on display in the hospital, but what happened to Stolas specifically? I mean, Stryker specifically. Man, we know some of Blitzo's issues, but what is it? What happened to Stryker? Something really important happened to Strike. Well, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Not to mention, Stolas and Blitzo's relationship goes through so many ups and downs, left and right. One minute there, it's really rocky. The next minute, it seems like, oh, maybe it's a little bit healthy. And it just feels like we're filling up these buckets which always seem to be teetering, making it teeter. It's just like a little bit of negativity here, positivity here. It's like, on the one hand, Blitzo still sent help for Stolas, you know, at least text him to some degree, hoping that Stolas was doing well and all that. But Blitzo just couldn't bring himself to actually show he cared in a meaningful way. And Stolas really kind of needed that, you know. Any little bit of care from Blitzo seems to be able to, I hate saying it like this, but placate Stolas. But it feels like if Blitzo just showed a little bit more, but that is the problem, ultimately. Blitzo 
can't bring himself to show that little bit more. It's obvious Blitzo cares, but he just can't bring himself to really show he cares. Not after everything he's experienced, and I still feel like there's still some stuff beyond Fizzeroli and the circus and all that that is holding Blitzo back, and I wonder if it has to do with his mother. Uh, something deeper here. I do have to wonder. We're getting close to the finale. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more Hall of a Boss so you don't miss out on the next reaction. And until then, I've been Deez This Then. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.